In this video, we are going to explore how to stop thinking about drinking alcohol. When you stop drinking, it can be very difficult to actually stop thinking about it. All of a sudden, you end up noticing alcohol more regularly. You see the advertisements, you notice your friend's pictures on Facebook, and it just seems to be absolutely everywhere. And as a result of noticing it more regularly, you end up thinking about it more regularly too. Firstly guys, you have to realize that this is totally normal. It happens to everybody, including myself. Through being a drinker, you have conditioned yourself over many years. Your brain has become almost accustomed to expecting alcohol. Years of conditioning isn't exactly wiped away in an instant. It takes time. If you're alarmed that you're thinking about alcohol more regularly, you don't need to be. And if you're thinking, when will I stop thinking about drinking alcohol, you'll be glad to know that it's part of the journey and you're in the right place by watching this video. Now, guys, follow along and you're going to learn the exact steps on how to stop thinking about drinking easily. And do make sure to stay tuned to the very end as I'll be sharing some resources to help you on your journey. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Leon Sylvester, I'm 27 years old and I live here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Before I stopped drinking, I tried everything. I tried AA, I tried willpower, I tried to stop drinking for a specific amount of times and nothing seemed to work. Alcohol caused me so much pain and so much misery and I just couldn't seem to escape the trap. Now, fortunately, I live here now in Chiang Mai, Thailand with a beautiful girlfriend. I literally live the life of my dreams and none of this would have happened if I didn't get sober. So on this channel, I share about my experience and how I got sober. So if you're new here, do make sure to hit subscribe. And guys, just before we get into the video, I just want to mention that I do have a couple of spaces open for the Sober Clear coaching program. The coaching program is where I'll personally guide you to living your best life without alcohol. It's designed for people who have tried to stop drinking with AA, willpower or rehabs and they weren't successful for whatever reason. Now you can apply for a free consultation by clicking the link below this video. Myself or someone from my team will review your application and if you have been successful, we will jump on a consultation call to see if you're a good fit for the program. So guys, the first thing that we want to look at is the reticular activating system. Have you ever heard of the reticular activating system before or the RAS? Well, this is absolutely fascinating stuff. It will help explain why you think about drinking more when you stop. The RAS is a net-like formation within the brain consisting of nerve cells and their connections. This formation lies within the brainstem between the brain and the spinal cord. The groupings of neurons that together make up the RAS are ultimately responsible for attention, arousal, modulation of muscle tone and the ability to focus. Now, why exactly are we talking about neuroscience in the brain when you want to learn about thinking about alcohol? Well, the RAS is responsible for pretty much anything that we do, and that includes thinking about drinking. The RAS is the reason that you can focus on reading a book in a busy place. It's also the reason that you can learn a new word and then you start seeing it everywhere that you go. A few months ago, a friend of mine let me try out his motorcycle. It was a 650cc Kawasaki and at the time I had a 125cc scooter. After trying the Kawasaki, I was hooked. I was thinking about purchasing a big bike and all of a sudden I could see big bikes everywhere. I hadn't noticed the bikes before, but now I could literally see one every minute. There was just being... Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha. Were the bikes there before? Of course they were, but my RAS wasn't focused on them. As soon as I had brought my awareness to big motorcycles, my RAS went into overdrive and all I could see was bikes everywhere. Now, just for the record, I did buy the bike as a treat for the money saved from not drinking. Now, interestingly, alcohol can actually dampen and depress the RAS in the brain. So logically, when we stop drinking, our RAS goes into hyperdrive. We're all of a sudden more aware of the alcohol around of us. We end up noticing alcohol more regularly. And because we are no longer drinking, our RAS is actually much more active. So we can see that thinking about alcohol is part of the process. You're becoming more aware of your environment and surroundings as you get sober. Listen, it's entirely normal, so don't stress. Now, the next thing we're looking at is that it gets easier as we get further into the journey. Unfortunately, when people stop drinking and start thinking about alcohol more often, they often think that there is something wrong with them. Well, here's the thing is you can't stop your RAS from sending these signals to your brain. It's totally impossible. But if you are prepared for it, you'll be in a better position to handle them. When you stop drinking, you are breaking a pattern that your brain has become used to. Alcohol has probably been a part of your life for a number of years. The good news is, over time, you virtually stop thinking about it. It just slowly, slowly continues to get easier and easier the further that you get into your journey. The trick is, when it comes to how to stop thinking about drinking, is don't panic. 
It's 100% part of the process. Just accept it and understand that it will get easier over time. I know that it gets easier over time from my own experience as well as speaking to hundreds of ex-drinkers. It definitely gets easier. The next tip is awareness of the thought. Now, it's a thing that's worth noting is don't fight the thought. What do I mean by this? Well, some people get the thought of drinking an alcohol and they end up getting angry, they end up getting scared, they end up getting upset and they start beating themselves up and they think that they can't do it. Now, if I were to make a suggestion to those people, it would be to bring awareness to the thought and see the thought for what it is. It's a thought and you don't need to act on a thought. Once you're able to bring awareness to that thought, remind yourself what it's like to be free from the prison of alcohol. So here's an exercise. When you start thinking about drinking, accept the thought and bring awareness to it. Then, once you have awareness, start celebrating that you have caught the thought and celebrate that you're already living your best life without alcohol. The next tip is to go towards a better life. Now, as mentioned, the thoughts about alcohol will eventually subside. But when you're experiencing the thoughts, how can you make them disappear faster? Well, the best way to make this happen faster is to focus on building a better life without alcohol. What exactly do I mean by that? I mean that you have two options when you stop drinking. The first option is feel sorry for yourself, feel deprived and feel like you're missing out. The other option is to immediately call yourself a non-drinker and go straight into building a great life for yourself. The majority of people that follow option one sadly end up failing. How do I know? Because I've tried that method in the past and I fell flat on my face. I quit using sheer willpower and it didn't work for very long. Feeling deprived and feeling like you're missing out is probably the easiest way to fail. And guys, I just quickly want to mention that you can get access to the totally free Sober Clear free training talking about the three biggest secrets that I use to make stopping drinking effortless and enjoyable by clicking the link in the description. The best advice I ever received before stopping drinking was to immediately launch myself into building a better life. I focused on my fitness, I focused on my work, my friendships and my skills and I just started trying to improve every single area. I like the thought of trying to focus on improving by 1% each day and then these small gradual improvements end up compounding massively. By focusing on improving my life, when I do think about alcohol, I'm able to change that thought. I end up thinking to myself, damn, like look how much progress that I'm making without alcohol. What I do is I bring awareness to the thought of alcohol and then immediately show gratitude for where I've come from. I then literally clench my fist and I start just getting like hyped up about no longer being a slave to a drug. I'm able to bring awareness to the thought, quickly realize it's a thought, and then use that as a reminder to celebrate being free from drinking a fancy market of poison. The last tip is writing a list. In the very early days of stopping drinking, one of the best exercises you can do is to write this list. In this list, you want to have two columns, one with pain, and one with pleasure. The pain and pleasure principles have been debated for thousands of years by philosophers. Jerry Bentham, an English philosopher, noted, nature has placed mankind under two governance of two sovereign masters, pain and pleasure. It is for them alone to point out what we ought to do, as well as to determine what we shall do. The pain and pleasure principles are our two biggest motivators, and they play a crucial role when time to stop drinking alcohol. So under the pain section of your list, Write about all the pain that alcohol is causing you. For example, the hangovers, the shame, the lack of energy, and so on. You want to make this list as extensive as possible. But the most important part of this list is the pleasure section. Here's where you want to start writing about your goals and your aspirations to focus on now that you are sober. When I personally did this, I wrote about wanting to start a business that serves other people. I wanted to write about being in excellent physical shape, about being able to travel more regularly, to get a girlfriend, to do all these things. And in the early days of my sobriety, whenever I thought about alcohol, I could review my list and get excited about the things that I'm working towards. Having a tangible list that you can pull out of your pocket at any time can really help. So guys, just because you're thinking about drinking alcohol more regularly does not mean that you are failing. Quite the contrary. It actually means that you are going through the same process that everybody else that doesn't drink alcohol has gone through. Thinking about drinking is entirely normal and not something you should be afraid of. Again, guys, you can apply for a consultation by clicking the link below this video. And if you want to learn more about my story or you want to learn about some of the benefits that I have used to stop drinking, then click the videos on the screen now.